Now, uh, moving forward with the data, uh, we have so far we have just explored this one, which is showing you the data uh, inside the 3D window. Now, an additional option that you have in Modeler is also to show the data um, inside this uh, urban control data table. This is how we call it, and it's actually a table of all of the data that is coming out of your model. Right now, it is a small scale uh, new development, uh, so there is not a lot of data in here, but if you had more buildings, everything, and more city blocks, all of this, all of the data that is coming out of your design would be here. Now, one benefit of this one is that uh, in here, you can sort the, the data. So let's go here and check the buildings by the gross floor area. And let me pick the one that has the largest gross floor area. Sorry, and you can see here that uh, it got marked in, in the table, but it also got selected in my model. So this way I can quickly pick the buildings and see which is which in terms of the data and the 3D model. Um, or if I pick the building here, you can see it gets selected and it also shows me on which city block it is. Now we can we can always manage which is the data that we are seeing here um, by clicking on these checkboxes. You can see there are quite a few options here. So we have the data for the whole plot. We have the data for the land uses. So this one shows you the cumulative data for each of the uses that are assigned to the city blocks and the gross floor areas that are when the, the land uses are assigned to the buildings. Then we have the data for the city blocks, which we can also expand by showing what is the what are then the actual buildings that are placed on this city block and what are the, their uses, uh, what are the ratios, what are the floor areas, how much they contribute to the FAR, and so on. Then we have the data for the buildings and for the complex buildings. And again, for the complex buildings, we can show the data uh, according to the different uses that are assigned to, to the building parts or just show the complex building parts, which are actually these smaller units, the, the simple buildings that together compose a complex building. Now, let me just go here and turn on the, all of the options, because what I want to do now is I want to also engage this live connection to Excel. This is an additional functionality that we believe delivers quite a lot of value. Um, and it is managed here. So in here, you just said, uh, what is the data that is going to be sent to Excel? So I have turned everything on. And now what I'll do is I'll go to extensions modeler and send modeler data to excel okay i need to save my model first i'll go here and let's go to documents baltimore okay now i have saved the file and what modeler did is it already brought up the excel but i guess you don't see it so let me just go here to switch um, my computer to a bit lower resolu resolution and share my complete screen. So share, okay, can you see it? Uh, Gasper, can you confirm that both Excel and uh, SketchUp yeah. are visible? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So 